Good morning. It's been a gray one. We started off with sunshine and then those clouds quickly moved in and there's a little brightening going on on our Storm Team Skycam network here in Fargo, but a lot of places still stuck under the rain and we've seen that rain moving through uh, this morning and now this afternoon as well. And we can expect uh, more of the same in the Southern Valley and in some other places in the Valley as well today. So let's start in the Southern Valley where we've been getting most of the rain and thunderstorms going on here uh, this morning. We've got uh, some areas of rain uh, south of the I-94 Highway 10 corridor. Basically, there are a couple of light rain showers north of that too. Checking down by Fergus Falls, that's kind of where we're seeing the heaviest rain falling at the moment in the south. There's a little lightning bolt there just around the Dalton area too. And this is all moving eastward, so it's going to continue trekking across uh, parts of Otter Tail County and it's really hampered our temperatures. We're only in the upper 60s, 69 in Fargo, 70 in Detroit Lakes. And um, there's a little break in the action. We just saw that on our sky cam here in Fargo, but there are some more scattered areas of rain and thunder, especially along the North Dakota, South Dakota line here. So Dickey County, the Ellendale area, you just saw a heavier thunderstorm roll through and another one on the way as well. Looks like Jamestown, you're right on the edge of that band of rain that's moving through too. So still unsettled, still stormy, just just not as severe as it was when it was developing out by Bismarck. And this cluster of showers and thunder showers also was severe for a short time, produced some uh, large hail in Towner County. In fact, we got a report of ping pong ball size hail in that area earlier this morning. Now this afternoon, just some rain showers right around the Grafton area. We're seeing that up into Pemina County, now moving into Kitson County. And again, temperatures there a little bit cooler as well. We've had a little less rain, a little more sunshine there. So we're slightly warmer there at the moment. The severe weather well to our south in South Dakota. However, there is some clear out west and if it moves into the valley in enough time to produce some more heating going on that might create some more storms this afternoon. Checking out our visibility. We're looking at visibility numbers that are a good anywhere where we don't have the rain where we're getting the showers and thunder showers. We're down to maybe two miles, three miles in some areas. So make sure you have your headlights on if you're driving around today. The wind a little brisk too with this system rolling through. We've got winds out of the south into the 20s for some wind gusts uh, and maybe even stronger in some of these showers and thunder showers. So working through the afternoon, you can kind of see these storms break up a little bit on our model. Uh, there will still be some spotty areas of rain and thunder into the afternoon hours, but with the clouds rolling through, that means that we'll probably keep our temperatures on a little bit of a lower end here today, about 70 to around 80 degrees, maybe a couple of us getting into the low 80s, but that'll be about it. Those showers move on and uh, we're looking at a quiet night ahead of us for tonight. A quick look at tomorrow, nice and quiet to start off. We'll see some 60 degree temperatures in the morning into the afternoon, 70s, and then we continue that climb through the day which means we'll end up with some uh, pretty nice temperatures or pretty hot temperatures for some. We're looking at some 80s to near 90 degrees with that threat for uh, one or two thunder showers, uh, maybe late in the uh, evening hours, but then things look pretty quiet. So again, that severe thunderstorm risk keeps getting adjusted farther and farther south from uh, the Storm Prediction Center. And I think that's uh, a good call there. Our chances kind of winding down. Our next chance for severe weather, Friday and into Saturday. Sounds good. All right, Lisa, thank you very much.